What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a kick and band command. We did this tutorial roughly about a year ago, but I feel like it's time to go ahead and redo that tutorial because it got way, way easier to implement. So if you're new here, make sure to watch the first three episodes of this series. The first one goes over how to set up your Discord bot. The second one goes over on how to set up a basic command handler. And the third one is the advanced command handler. We're going to be using the advanced command handler for this episode. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be doing two commands. So we have to add two extra files to our commands folder. The first one is, of course, the kick command. And the second one is the ban command. And as we're using the advanced command handler, we have to come down here and we have to add those commands. So discord.js can go ahead and register all of the commands that we're about to do. So we're going to do kick first. And then we're going to do clients that commands. We can actually just go ahead and copy this right here and change the clear to, of course, kick. And we're going to do this one more time for the band command. Let's go ahead and actually organize this. I do hate looking at terrible code. Um, and then we're going to do ban. And we're going to go ahead and do ban. So just like that, we added both our files to our command handler and we created both our files. So in here, of course, we do module.exports. And this is going to be opened up like this. And we can add the name, which is going to be kick. And we can also add the description. Description. Sorry, it's very late right now. It's actually 5 a.m. and I have not slept. So description. And for description, we can just say uh, uh, this command. I cannot type right now. This command uh, kicks a member, right? That's our description. And then we're going to, of course, do the execute method. So execute, we're going to pass in messages and we're going to pass in the args and we're going to open this up. And just like that, we had our module export. So let's go ahead and actually copy this and paste it right in our band uh, little file here. So it's actually very easy to do this. So the way you get a member that was mes uh, basically mentioned in a specific message. So, for example, if we go into our discord server right now, what we want to do is we want to basically do pick and then at a member and basically kick him. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna go into my other Discord account and I'm gonna go ahead and join this Discord server. So here we go, this is our little test account here and we're gonna be banning and kicking this person right here. So to get this person from a message like this, all we have to do is we have to first do a const and we're gonna name it member, the const member and this member is gonna be message that mentions and users and we're going to do the first user so it's always going to get the first user mentioned so if you do something like a multiple kick which is a little bit more uh, advanced we could do that later on so if you want to kick like two or three members at a time and this is not going to work but if you want to kind of go ahead and research on how to do it it's not going to be that hard uh but it's going to be the first person that you uh that you mention in that message so it's going to be games next what we're going to do is we want to check that the person the administration, the admin actually tagged a member they want to kick. So they didn't just randomly say kick and start kicking everybody. They have to be a specific member they want to kick. So this is actually very easy. You just do if member. So basically if the member exists. And then we're also going to do an else. And in this else, we're just going to do message that channel that send. And we're going to send a message saying we or you couldn't. Couldn't. I don't care. Uh, kick that member, right? Just tell the admin that they were not able to kick a member because they didn't mention a member. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a const, another const, and this is going to be like our target, so member target, and it's going to be equal to message dot guild dot members dot cash dot get, and right here with this variable, we're going to get member that ID because this is an object. This uh, little const that we have here has a lot and I mean a lot of information about the member that we just tagged in the message and we're just getting the ID so we can go ahead and ban him or for this command here, kick him. So then we're just going to do member that target that kick just like that. We're going to do the kick method and then we're going to message the admin that just kicked him and we're going to message him saying uh user has been kicked 
just to let them know that that user has actually been kicked. And if you want to have a specific channel just for kicking, it will message the channel. So you might not want to kick someone if they are in a public channel. But if you have a private channel for like admins where they can type this message and then start kicking people who, you know, failed the rules of the server. So just like that, if you go ahead and run the bot, node space dot, or however you turn your bot online, we're going to go back into Discord. And first, we're just going to try doing the regular kick. So if we do kick without mentioning someone, ooh, something did break message that mentions that users at first what happened here um let me go ahead and check exactly how i messed this up message sorry messages so i think it's messages because we type messages here let's actually leave this sorry it's not supposed to be messages it's supposed to be message because we're getting this uh value right here so let's go ahead and close the bot and open it again sorry about that you know i did a typo here in message so let's go ahead and do that one more time. If we do kick without mentioning anybody, it's going to say you couldn't kick that member. Uh, and I misspelled couldn't, but that is fine. Um, so now let's go ahead and try kicking ourselves. So our little dummy account, let's go ahead and kick him. Just like that, we have been kicked and he's no longer in the server. Once again, you might want to have this in a admin text channel or something where they can kick people. Also, make sure to do this with permissions. I do have a permissions tutorial. Just add the permissions uh, right here to check if they have the admin per permission or the kick permission, because uh, you, know, you don't want everybody to be kicking and banning people. So for the actual banning side of this, it's actually really easy. Just go ahead and copy all of this and let's just do this change this to ban uh change this to bans i guess for the description this command bans the server and in here what we're going to do is instead of kick you just want to do ban and want to just change everything that says kick just change it to ban this user has been banned and you couldn't ban that sir uh that member so if you go ahead and save the file save everything else make sure everything's saved and go ahead and run our bot one more time and let me add my test account into that server once more. There it is. So we go back in here, our body's running. And if we do ban, couldn't ban that member because we didn't tag somebody. But if we do ban at a lash games, boom, we've been banned. So now I don't necessarily know how to do this, but if we check the server settings and bans, there it is. So our account got banned. So this is how you create a bot just like this it's actually very easy the method that i did about a year ago it's pretty outdated and it was kind of hard um so this is super easy as you can see the lines of code we're only doing like 14 lines of code i will have this code in the description especially since i messed up with that typo so make sure to check out the current description to see if everything matches with the code that you were typing throughout this tutorial with that being said that's pretty much it that's how you do kick and ban you can do this as much as you want once again if you want to like do a mass kick and mass ban, you're going to have to find a way to get all of the members that were mentioned in that message. Uh, so not just only the first, but for most people, banning something like this is pretty much the easiest. Just ban one person at a time. If someone says something bad, someone uh, breaks your rules, just ban them or kick them. Um, and the next couple of tutorials might do something like a timeout, which is something that's a little bit less harsh than a kick and ban. Uh, so that'll be the next tutorial coming out this Friday. Also, sorry, I, I couldn't upload it last Friday or actually yesterday, which is Tuesday. I had to do a couple things, but don't worry. I'm not going away again. Uh, I'm just going to be focusing as much as I can on this channel. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more Discord.js tutorials. As soon as we're done with all the administration things, we're going to be getting started with all of the cool stuff. So as you can see, last year we did like Minecraft bots that, you know, lets you get information from Minecraft servers and music bots and all of that. So maybe a couple, two or three more tutorials about administration and we'll be done with that and we can get started with the really cool bots. With that being said, I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.